Ever wondered how secure your online communications are? In this digital age, where our lives are intricately woven with the World Wide Web, network security has become more crucial than ever. It's a constant game of cat and mouse, a relentless battle between cybersecurity professionals and hackers, each vying to outsmart the other. We bank online, shop online, work online, and even date online. Our personal information, financial details, and intimate conversations are all traversing through the vast expanse of the internet. Now, imagine all this sensitive data falling into the wrong hands. A chilling thought, isn't it? That's why the need for vigilance cannot be overstated. It's not just about protecting our data anymore, it's about safeguarding our very way of life. The battleground is set and the stakes are high. One of the most common forms of cyber attacks is the man in the middle attack. But what exactly is it? Imagine a scenario where all your online communications are intercepted, read and manipulated without you having a clue. Scary, isn't it? Welcome to the world of man-in-the-middle attacks, a clever trick in the cyber criminal's playbook that can turn your digital life upside down. Picture this, you're sending a message to a friend. It's like tossing a paper airplane across a room. But what if someone intercepts that plane mid-flight, reads your note and then sends it on its way? That's essentially what a man-in-the-middle attack is. The name fits perfectly. The attacker is literally in the middle, intercepting the communication between two parties. But this isn't a simple eavesdropping exercise. Oh no, it's much more sinister. The attacker can choose to manipulate the data in transit, changing the contents of your messages or even impersonating you or the other party. Why is this such a big deal? Well, think about all the sensitive information you send online. Bank details, passwords, confidential business documents, the list goes on. A successful man in the middle attack can give a cyber criminal access to all of this and more. But how does the attacker get in the middle in the first place? Well, it's often through unsecured Wi-Fi networks or by exploiting vulnerabilities in network security. They can also trick you into connecting to a rogue network they've set up, disguised as a legit one. Once they're in, they can monitor, intercept, and alter your communications at will. The potential damage can be devastating. From financial loss and identity theft to corporate espionage and even national security risks, the man in the middle is a formidable foe. And the scariest part? You might not even know it's happening until it's too late. So we've unmasked the man in the middle. Now how does it actually play out? Let's delve into the modus operandi of a man in the middle attack. Imagine you're at a cafe, sipping on your latte, and casually checking your emails over the free Wi-Fi. Unbeknownst to you, a malicious actor, let's call him Mr. X, is also connected to the same network. He's not there for the coffee, but for your data. The first step in Mr. X's attack is interception. He uses a technique called ARP spoofing to trick your device into thinking that it's communicating directly with the router when, in reality, it's communicating with Mr. X. This allows him to intercept all data packets traveling between your device and the router. Now, Mr. X has your data packets, but they're encrypted, making them unreadable. So what does he do? He uses his second tool, decryption. With the right software, Mr. X can decipher the encrypted data, gaining access to your emails, passwords, and potentially much more. But wait, there's more. Not only can Mr. X read your data, but he can also manipulate it. This is the third step, manipulation. Let's say you're trying to transfer money to a friend. Mr. X can alter the recipient's details, rerouting the funds to his own account instead. And the most terrifying part? All of this can happen without you noticing a thing. Your device still connects to the internet, your transfers go through, your emails get sent. On the surface, everything seems normal. But behind the scenes, Mr. X is in control, manipulating your data at will. Understanding the anatomy of a man in the middle attack is crucial if we are to defend against it. It's a three-step process, interception, decryption, and manipulation. And it all happens in the blink of an eye, in the time it takes for you to sip your coffee and scroll through your emails. Now that we've seen how it works, the question remains, how can we protect ourselves? The best defense is a good offense, especially when it comes to cybersecurity. So how do we go on the offensive against the man in the middle? Let's dive into various strategies that can help fortify our defenses. Firstly, always use secure networks. When you're connected to a public Wi-Fi, your data is like an open book. Anyone can read it, including the man in the middle. Therefore, it's crucial to only use networks that you trust, like your home or office network. Secondly, encryption is your best friend. It's like a secret language that only you and your intended recipient can understand. Even if the man in the middle intercepts your data, 
all they will see is gibberish. There are various forms of encryption but one of the most common is HTTPS. You've probably noticed the little padlock icon in your browser's address bar, right? That indicates that your connection is secure and your data is encrypted. Lastly, consider using a virtual private network or VPN. A VPN acts like a secure tunnel for your data to travel through, hiding it from prying eyes. This makes it incredibly difficult for the man in the middle to intercept your data. Keep in mind, these strategies aren't foolproof. Cyber criminals are always evolving, and so should your defenses. Regularly updating your software, using strong, unique passwords and being wary of suspicious emails or links can further bolster your security. Remember, staying safe online is a continuous process, not a one-time fix. So, we've demystified the man-in-the-middle attack. We've explored its concept, dissected its operation, and highlighted ways to defend against it. It's a game of cat and mouse, where the attacker intercepts and possibly alters communication between two unsuspecting parties. But remember, knowledge is power. By understanding its anatomy and putting in place robust defenses, we can arm ourselves against such threats. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay safe in this digital world. Until next time, keep your data secure.